he's put rats in the National History Museum, hung his own painting in the National Gallery, and daubed his name across the capital's walls. But has the self-confessed vandal artist Banksy pulled off his greatest stunt so far? A couple of clues for you. It's 20 feet high, weighs three and a half tons, and it's just a little bit rude. Carl Mercer reports. Yesterday, Clerkenwell Green was just another London square off a busy main road. Then overnight, this happened. As night fell, a lady of the night descended, an unannounced three and a half ton contribution to Clerkenwell street furniture. Um, well, when did, it, when did it come here? When? Last night. Confusion, certainly, but plenty of interest. After all, it's not every day a statue of a prostitute railing against the justice system arrives on your doorstep. I think uh, it's the luck of the lady. I think it's a very, very nice. She looked good. Plenty of money in the garter. She might be a bit cheap, but hey, I like her, the lady. And that from a man who doesn't normally speak with an Italian accent. The statue is the work of graffiti artist Banksy, loved by celebrities, not so popular with the establishment after work like this across the capital. I like the way the kids have come already and added their own graffiti. I think that's quite nice because it's all right, Banksy's all about anarchy, isn't he? No, it's good. It's kind of exciting having all that sort of underground spreading around word thing going on. <laughs> Don't put that on. <laughs> It's unlikely the statue will stay, though. Put here without permission, Islington Council says it will have to go. In a statement today, it said one of the council's most serious commitments is to ensure the public's safety. The statue has been placed on top of underground toilets, and expert advice suggests that the combined weight of the plinth and statue makes the site very unsafe. The artist himself doesn't do media. No comment from him today, but this from his agent. Hopefully the council won't come and take it away, but... Uh... We should see. It'd be a shame if they did, because it is a donation to the people of London, basically. And I think, you know, there's a lot of Londoners that will actually appreciate this. I think as many people will appreciate it as people that think that it shouldn't be here. So, two things are sure, though: the statue will go, and this won't be the last we've seen of Banksy. Carl Mercer, BBC London News. Well, it's got people talking anyway. Now, London's Jazz Cafe has closed after a fire broke out in the early hours. Rianne Benson was due to perform there this evening, but the show has now been rescheduled to late September. The venue is expected to reopen on Monday. London's rivers have taken a battering in the last few days, with sewage killing tens of thousands.